Hello everyone, welcome back uh, to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to uh, review a brand new rifle to me, uh, given to me by my brother-in-law. It's a Savage Model 10 FCP-K, uh, chambered in 308 Winchester. Uh, you know, all you have to do is look on uh, YouTube and people will give you various opinions of their favorite rifle, their favorite uh, platform, why this caliber is better than the other. Uh, you know I'm a big believer in practical experience, that I don't give an opinion on, on any caliber or any of that that I do not have any practical experience on. Uh, so the, this is a 308 Winchester. The 308, uh, you know, is, is uh, boy, everybody touts it as a long range rifle, hunting rifle, multi-purpose. Of course the military used it. Uh, uh, and if the military used it, it's probably been proven in battle, so therefore it's a very effective weapon. Uh, but I always kind of found uh, the 308 to be uh, a why. Uh, you know, I started out with a 30 odd six in, in life. Uh, both of them are, you know, three, uh, 308 caliber. Uh, 30 odd six has a little bit more power, a little more powder, and of course it has a, uh, a history of taking animals all over the continent. And I'm sure the 308 does too, I just have no experience with it. Uh, but my brother-in-law gave me this rifle and uh, and I'm going to give it a good shot. Uh, so we'll see how it does. Alright, so everything is brand new on it. Uh, I have to sight it in first. Uh, as we discussed before, my sight in procedure is uh, to start at 25 yards. You should be one to two inches low because of the relationship between the scope and the barrel at that close of a distance. Uh, everybody knows that the bullet rises uh, past this line of sight and then comes back down uh, to where you want to zero your rifle. But at 25 yards I just sort of want to be a little bit low so that 100 yards I'm pretty close to being on. So without further ado I'm going to go ahead and sight this in then I'll come back and give you a complete overview of the rifle. Uh, so hang on, thanks for watching. Okay folks, here's a more close-up view of this uh, Savage Model 10 FCP-K. Um, the Model 10 is, is descriptive of the short action. <clears throat> the F is, uh, has to do with the synthetic stock. Uh, the C has to do with the fact that it has a detachable magazine. In this particular case, it's a flush mount, uh, four round uh, capacity. Uh, the uh, P stands for law enforcement, uh, the K stands for the muzzle brake on the end, uh, th so that's where all of those letters and numbers come from. I have mounted a uh, 4x14 Burris full field scope on it. It has the Burris tactical rings and Burris tactical bases. Uh, I'm not real used to uh, synthetic uh, or polymer stocks, but this is Savas's famous uh, Accu stock, which supposedly has a, a aluminum uh, uh, bedded into the stock here to give it more rigidity uh, supposedly for accuracy. It also has an aluminum block that surrounds the uh, action uh, that surrounds the action to give it a three-way lock-in and therefore more rigidity as well. It also has Savage's Accu Trigger uh, which has this little blade here acts as a secondary safety. This uh, blade has to be completely depressed before the rifle will go off. It also has an oversized uh, bolt knob here it has a top tang uh, a safety. Uh, it's got a really spongy, I don't know what kind or the manufacturer is of the butt pad, but I'm hoping that uh, th with that muzzle brake that there's quite a bit of let off. This is a 24 inch barrel, it is fluted. Uh, so this is a nice looking rifle. Uh, so as I said in my opening that I will be uh, shooting this more and hopefully uh, give you further updates as I get more familiar with the rifle. Okay, so hang on for some target shooting. Folks, this is the ammo that I'll be shooting. I have absolutely no familiarity with military style ammo. Uh, so if people can see that uh, 7 by 62 millimeter ball, uh, people that were in the military will know what it is. Uh, I deconstructed this bullet. It is a full metal jacket. It has about 45 44 and a half grains of some type of stick powder. Uh, the primer itself is, I, I don't know, but it is a Burdan case, so it's absolutely useless to me as far as reloading is concerned. But we're going to check it out for its, uh, uh, just to sight the gun in. 
I also have some Winchester Super X. This happens to be 180 grain uh, power point, which is a hunting load. A uh, little heavy for, in my opinion, for this caliber, but uh, it's what I have. So these are what I'm going to shoot, uh, and I'll certainly show you the targets to, to see how they shot. So hang on. Okay, folks, here comes the first shot at 25 yards. I'm just trying to see where it hits on paper. Uh, I said this is my first shot, so a little apprehensive, new new rifle, but it's a quality rifle. It should be no problem. Got my ears on, got my glasses on, uh, so let's uh, kind of watch. Okay, looks like that first shot is about six inches left, uh, so I need to make some orientation. Uh, hang on. Okay, folks, uh, going to give it the last four shots with the uh, Winchester 180 grain. Uh, we'll see how they shoot. Uh, again, most of the problems I'm having with this gun has to do with the uh, follower on the uh, magazine. Sometimes doesn't pick it up. I have to get used to that accu trigger. Uh, sometimes it locks, uh, and you have to recock the cock piece, and uh, then it works fine. Uh, these are all things I have to learn about the firearm. So it's a good idea uh, that if hunting season is next week, that you don't buy a new firearm and don't get real familiar with it. Uh, but today I've done all right with the scope, uh, as far as the adjustments are concerned, dialing it in, getting the diopter right. Now I just have to uh, figure out. Uh, uh, the magazine and the bolt to get comfortable with it, uh, get comfortable with my line of sight and my pull. But here's the last four shots, so uh, oh, you can watch. Okay, folks, thanks for watching. Okay, folks, here's the target. Uh, this is that 147 grain uh, ball ammunition. Uh, that's probably a two and a half, three inch group. Uh, not really good, I'll, but I like those two. Uh, and then over here is the uh, 180 grain uh, Winchester silver tips. Uh, that's about an uh, inch, inch and a half, uh, inch and three quarter group. Uh, you know, New new rifle to me, uh, unfamiliar, uh, trigger pull is funny, uh, I have to get used to that accu trigger, sometimes it didn't engage and I had to recock the cock piece and uh, feel for it and uh, also the follower on the uh, mag sometimes didn't pick up the next round, so it's just going to take some time to get used to, but uh, this uh, rifle has potential at least for me uh, and I have potential hopefully for it uh, before I go and buy all the reloading uh, equipment for the 308. Yeah. I'll shoot 150 grain bullets and use uh, various powders and uh, try to accurize this thing uh, to where it is a long range shooter. Again folks, uh, if you like this uh, content, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon uh, to be notified of my future videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great 4th of July. Bye folks.